Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video we are going to be talking about Ninjago's distribution on websites such as Netflix and why it kind of seems like it's still really messy. Now in Netflix in the United States it's a little bit different than what it is in other countries. Obviously every single territory has its own set of rules regarding Netflix. Again, not really too sure how that works, but just overall Netflix here in the United States has recently added season 11 onto its platform, which in my opinion is really good. Obviously I'm talking about specifically the fire chapter the ice chapter was already up there on the website but now we have the full season 11 story we have everything from the fire chapter all the way through to the end of the ice chapter which is really good i'm not really sure why the fire chapter wasn't really on netflix to begin with it definitely seems like something that should have been added especially considering how the ice chapter was on there and in other parts of the world it was really messy considering how some areas had the ice chapter not the fire chapter some people had the fire chapter but not the ice chapter overall the distribution on Netflix is just a huge mess for Ninjago, but why is that? Why can't they just get it right? Even now that they've added the Fire Chapter on there, it seems like Netflix is still kind of making mistakes. I'm glad they fixed the big one, though. That was the big one that we were all kind of concerned about. But now there's the matter of Season 13 still being classed in the same season as Prime Empire, and, you know, just the Master of the Mountain episodes not having names in general is still kind of messy. But the question is, then, why is it like that? Why is it so messy on Netflix with Ninjago, and to that I can't really give you a solid answer. It just kind of seems like Netflix as it is, is just kind of, I guess, uh, not so much, I don't want to use the word irresponsible with Ninjago, but it seems like Ninjago kind of got the short end of the stick. Again, there's not really a lot of different shows that I watch on Netflix, for example, but it seems like Ninjago can't really get it right on Netflix for whatever reason. Now, as of the time of recording, these changes have not gone into effect, so I'm not too sure if they will in the future anytime soon, but considering how they added the fire chapter on there when initially excluding it in the states here, I feel like maybe they're going to be going back and fixing these other mistakes going forward. I doubt that they're going to keep it the same, but I don't really know why it's such a mess on there. Ninjago really doesn't have a platform to be on. A lot of people have to resort to third party and pirating websites in order to go ahead and actually watch Ninjago, but everything could be there. The only thing that we're missing in the States is the pilot episodes yet on Netflix. They were on there at one point, they're not anymore. So otherwise we have everything else on there. And uh, if we had the pilot episodes, at least people in the United States could watch all of Ninjago. Obviously, I'd love to see the whole world get everything uh, from Ninjago at their fingertips, at their disposal at any time. But unfortunately, that's not the world that we live in. Different streaming sites and stuff like that have their own rules and have their own distribution regulations that clearly don't line up from country to country. So unfortunately, that reality can never be. But hopefully, uh, in areas outside the U.S., Netflix goes ahead and actually adds on some stuff, too. I know some people still don't have the Ice chapter, and I apologize apologize for that. Uh, we recently got the fire chapter, so if the United States Netflix is willing to add more to fix their problems, who knows, maybe other parts of the world can get that too. The main point that I wanted to get across in this video is that even though Netflix is a big mess in terms of Ninjago, they are trying to fix it from what I can tell. They fixed the big mistake, so hopefully they can go ahead and fix the smaller ones as well. That way we can all be happy. I mean, regardless of what they do, someone's going to be upset, but I don't know. Hopefully Ninjago can find a home somewhere. I always thought it'd be cool if it could be an original Netflix series, but hopefully it finds a home somewhere, and hopefully all of Ninjago uh, ends up on Netflix for everybody across the world at some point. So thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. Uh, let me know down below in the comments what your Netflix looks like, and this will probably be the last Ninjago Netflix video that I make. I know I've been kind of making a lot of them lately, but there have been a lot of changes with Netflix, especially regarding Ninjago content. So I don't know. I figured I'd keep you guys updated as time goes on. So let me know down below in the comments what you think about this. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. As always, big shout out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including once again the Marvelous Jan. Thank you guys so much for watching this video once again. My name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.